Hey everybody, Jesse Fuel here. Good morning. I'm here with the latest edition of Morning Fuel. Check out the coffee mug. It's awesome. And this is where I share coffee with you. <sighs> Talking about what's on my mind with respect to helping build high-performing teams. And here's what's on my mind, and this is Agile experts are driving me crazy. They're driving me to crazy. The, the, uh, the, there's two conversations that ha happened to me, the same conversation in the last month, and it went something like this, which is we're talking about teams that are struggling to get started with this Agile business, and, 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 the, and the coach, the expert, the guide, the, the leader says, hey, you're just, you're just doing mini waterfall. You're doing the, it's, just, it's not Agile. No, 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 no. You're just doing the exact same process. You, you might be delivering value faster, but you're just doing things exactly the same. And I'm like, well, hold on. Hold on a second there. Did you just, did you just say they're delivering value sooner? Where they're doing a little bit of the work in a little bit less time instead of doing all the work all at once? That's progress. Celebrate that. You know, just because they're the, it doesn't look agile doesn't mean that they're not growing and making progress. Crawl, walk, run. In particular, do you remember Agile Expert? Do you remember as we're sharing coffee here when you were at the crawl stage? I do. I remember when I, I had to retool my skills into delivering incremental progress. I remember when uh, I was eager to work with people from other departments, but they didn't, weren't eager to work with me. They didn't trust me. Trust was earned. I had to earn that trust. And so uh, you might have forgotten what it's like to be at the crawl stage because that's where they're at. And hopefully you'll give them a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of time, find something to celebrate. Good job for using a time box for just the design activity. You're learning the concept of a, of, of, of a time box. But hopefully over time, they're gonna start kind of pulling pieces together and to the walk stage where it's gonna be ugly, but it's gonna start yielding some results. People might start uh, helping each other out a little bit. People might start throwing some new ideas on the table. People might start uh, looking for ways to accelerate. And that's huge. That's huge, you wanna celebrate that. And guess what, this is where mini waterfall is, ladies and gentlemen. Mini waterfall, using the exact same process in a compressed time frame that delivers incremental value is a big deal. Stop casting judgment because they're not yet at the run stage. Let me get my little cheat sheet here. The run stage, this is the magic we're going for. This is what we want, high performing teams that are producing amazing results, that, that, are, that are truly collaborating and truly innovating. It does not happen overnight. It really doesn't. Even if you put all the pieces into place, even if you get the right people in it, it's gonna take time to grow into this. Everything we've learned about high performance and human dynamics and about skill development, it, it's about time. You didn't learn how to ride a bike on the first try. You didn't learn um, that foreign language in the first lesson. It takes time. And so I, I'm gonna challenge you guys, I'm gonna challenge you here, the Agile experts, Agile people, don't be the impatient Agile guide. Crawl, walk, run. Throw them a bone, throw your team a bone. Give them some encouragement, coach them. Do not judge them. And that, that's where I'm at right now because uh, it's, it's a conversation that's popping up a couple times and I thought um, it might be a little bit of an interesting pill to swallow with your coffee. That's kind of a strange analogy, anyway. Jesse Veal here. Um, I'll talk to you next time.